Oh, that's not... Well, there we go, guys. That was the intro. Very strange intro indeed. To Welcome to the Game 2. You guys remember the first game? I didn't actually complete the updated version. Jesus Christ's music. Feels like I'm going to have to scream over the top of this thing. But no, uh, I didn't complete the updated version of this game. I managed to complete the first edition of the game, I guess you could say. But then it just got so hard. Then there's the waiting room that came out. This is actually going to be my first video from my big break. You may be thinking Dying Light was my first video. But that's been in my like video feed for so long. I've only just made it public. So this is the one where I've came back from the break. Trying to get back into videos, you know, I've had my lazy time off. I think it's time to start getting serious. So if you are hyped for this episode, please leave a like rating down below. Let's shoot for 500 likes. If we can hit 500 likes, I'll release another episode on this if I am still alive. But yeah, be sure to subscribe as well. I'm close to 100,000 subscribers and I'd love to hit that. Well, as soon as possible. Anyway, with that being said, there's a few things that I've done. I've turned uh, nudity off. V-Sync is on, because apparently that helps with the frame rating. Uh, I'm basically in windowed mode right now, but you guys can't see that because it's in... Okay, we won't, we won't go into that, but here we go. Let's do this. You are Clint Edwards, an investigative reporter for one of the leading online news sites. You're investigating the mysterious disappearances and mergers related to the deep web. You are deep in your case and about to make a breakthrough, but then you get a call from someone least expected. Hang on. Wait, what? Well, it's Adam again. What's up, bruh? He looks very cunning there, very evil, doesn't he? I heard you were looking for me. Check this out, it might help you on your case. This site here just went live and is trending on the back channels. I've been monitoring it for the past hour, and every so often a different girl shows up asking for help. They think they are streaming to their face page, but it seems the people holding them are rerouting their stream to this platform. They might be cutting off all cellular data except for their face page. At least, that's what I think they are doing. It seems to be some sort of voting platform. The viewers seem to be taking votes for something. My guess? It's not good. Here comes a new girl. Wait, what the hell? My name is Amelia Lewis. Someone has kidnapped me. I don't know where the fuck I am. It's, it's dark and, and freezing. Wow, this is a resident sleeper. Brilliant. There's blood on the floor. There are some very, very psychopathic people out there, isn't there? Hi, YouTube. You, as if this would be uploaded to YouTube. I was on the shadow web. I was just researching something, and I found this cult called the, the Prey, I think. Um, oh, I remember the Prey. It was on the first game, that one. I don't know what one. happened after that. I, I just saw these these fucked up images and these men in masks. And oh my god! And I woke up here. What happened? To Look how many people have voted to kill her. Hello. My god! There's no humanity I need left. To I need to Interesting. Oh. Getting on the shadow web is a task on its own. The shadow web is a whole other level of the deep web. It requires special software, which is not easy to get. She mentioned the prey which is interesting because they mostly operate on the normal deep web. I have a feeling that she might have stumbled across something more sinister. Oh boy. Using the prey as a front. Hold on. Uh, let me look into this a little bit further and find out who she is. I just saw someone. I don't know who saw me, but it's definitely them. He was wearing the same mask. What is the current entry fee for VIP know. access? They got to me, but they did. I don't like this. Coming. Please hurry, my battery's dying. Hmm. Your battery? It seems Amelia is a reporter just like you. She might have dug a little too deep and caught the attention of some twisted individuals. Oh she boy. She's not mentioning men in masks, which reminds me of a document I read a while back. They are more of a cult. No one really knows their official name, but online we refer them to as Noir. I'll send you that document to your desktop. Amelia seems to have a great deal of information could be a huge resource to your investigation. Let me see if I can source out the shadow web tunnels you stumbled across. Okay. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't think anyone wants to die, do they? Well, unless... How old is she? She dead. Contacting the FBI. Want to buy her panties once you're done with her. 
Oh my god. Is it raining? What is her name again? Oh my god. Scripted. Oh my god. These dudes, man. Jesus Christ. This is messed up. We don't even know what your name is, mate. I'm sorry. What's your name? Oh, did she did say she said Amelia, didn't she? Okay, it managed to source up the tunnel she used and place it on your desktop. Brilliant. Unlocking this should reveal the location of where she's being held. Why? Why do we like need to help her? Off time at 4 a.m. tonight. Oh After God. That, I'm afraid what will happen to her. The tunnel is locked using a shadow web encryption key. The key will be broken down to eight different hashes scattered across the deep web. Wow, what's going on here? the deep web and find these hashes. The hidden hash will look like this. Okay. Each hash will have an index value associated with it. You must keep this in mind while you compile the master key. So, if you were to find a hash that begins with the number one, it will be the first sequence of the master key. Yeah. Now, a hash could be hidden anywhere on a page. What goes on? What's going on here? So be sure to check the page thoroughly. Hop your mouse over everything and see if it'll activate a hidden hot zone. I would even check the page's source code if Welcome I were to mutilation. Okay. The tricky thing about the deep web is that some pages will only be available during a certain time window. So if you come across a page that is down, be sure to check back later. Upon your search, you may come across threats oh god on your desktop with more information on that oh no pockets of illegal activity have begun to appear over our monitor deep web nodes be on the lookout for increased traffic in your network in accordance with the department's new cyber crime initiative warrants for forced entry will be given expedited expedited approval ctu will be filtering deep web activity based on heat map data of illegal sites visited okay oh dear um lucas Served six years in the Polish land forces before recruitment into the JW Grom, where he further served an additional seven years. Lucas then made a transition into the AW before his disappearance. It was later discovered that Kamiega had been receiving payment for Polish government secrets involving operations with the US via cryptocurrency through transfer services on the deep web. Once an investigation had been opened, it was soon learned that Lucas had been responsible for illegal torture and other violent war crimes. A very small number of reports believed by the CIA to be the same could have surfaced from individuals who have managed to hide while the attacker entered their homes, driving a bold man in a suit. While the CIA has reasons to believe this man is Lucas, the reports are from locations all over the world and have yet to be connected. It doesn't matter who I tell anymore or what I say, no one believes me and I know they will find this and delete it. The government will deny that Noir exists to keep... Simple minds at ease, but I know the truth. I just hope one illuminated mind sees this before it's too late. I know they are going to kill me. I've read about how they do it, and it's happening to me now. They are phantoms appearing in the corner of your eye, only to vanish into darkness. Then you know that you've been chosen. If you find yourself looking over your shoulder, do not linger in the dark. They will find you. If you approach a man in a ghostly mask, run and hide. If you don't, if you don't, you are in their trap, and you're already dead. Hide if you turn away from them and show your back count from thirty. Okay. I if you turn away from them and show your back, count from 30, they disappear. Okay. What? Pounding sounds and screams is described by the call. The investigators found the body of a 27-year-old Charles Roberts dead inside a building attached to the alley. The case detective reports that Roberts tried to escape by hiding in the building's back entryway, but damaged the door and clear signs of struggle inside the building suggests. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, so that's the zone wall. Five, one. Oh, okay. Okay, that makes sense. 
stack pressure. Uh, represent all of a stack grid like this to succeed defend against stack flow attack using stack pressure. Hang on, so what? Wait, what? So if we push the stack nodes clear to the pop and arrow of it. What? Avoid the laughing school nodes. I don't, I don't get it. What the, what do I do? No, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing here. What the hell is going on right now? Why do I look so yellow? Okay. There we go. Okay. Like that, right? Yes. Okay. We got it. Can I escape through the back? Holy balls. Okay. Jesus Christ. There's a lot to be doing here. Brutal underground rape video site claims to be 100% real. Oh, brilliant stuff. Let's have, a, let's have a little look at this then, shall we? This sounds like uh, my cup of tea in the morning. No v VPNs activated. How do I buy VPNs? Oh man, so what, I can connect to different wi Wi-Fi's to hide myself? Burned at the stake. A group of people who hunt down witches. Man, it takes freaking forever to load them though. Not the kind of cleaning you are thinking. Cleaning service, so it's like, obviously for like dead people or whatever. Oh, here we go. Acid disposal. Oh my god. Clean up. Okie doke. So if we go to the bottom first. How do I know when I'm being tracked? Ugh, it's disgusting. Ugh. Animal body. Nice. So they... They use an animal first and then put the human under it. So that when they better dig it up, it's like... Oh, Jesus Christ! Mate, go easy on my poor hat! Yeah, you laugh, mate. You bloody laugh. Whatever. Okay, which one is it? Zone wall. Okay, this one's easy, I think. Bang. Bang. Insta-hack block! Oh, wow. Jesus Christ. Uh... Chosen. Oh. Okay. Oh god. I forgot to mention about Doscoin. Doscoin is a cryptocurrency used in the deep web. You will need. If you look at the top left corner of your screen, this is how much Doscoin you currently have. Brilliant. I got three. Help you out a little bit. I went ahead and purchased you a remote VPN. Okay. A remote VPN is a device that generates you DOS coin during a certain period of time. Hackers will rent these devices from you to do their deeds. Depending on the location you place it at will determine the amount of DOS coin you generate. So be sure to place it at a good location in your apartment complex. Okay. See what it generates under the DOS coin menu by clicking on the DOS coin logo. Now any hardware item you purchase from the shadow market will be delivered via deep web drone to your dead drop location. This is where your remote VPN is now located. To get there, simply exit the lobby. Once you have picked up the package, the items will be available to you in your apartment. So okay. be sure to look around your apartment when you get back from the dead drop. That's about it. Okay. So what, I need to go... I need to go... Can I get out of here? Oh, what was that sound? Oof. What the hell, man? This game has depth. How do I activate this? Excuse me. We getting out of here? Oof. So what, there's a drone? Do you say a drone in the... In the lobby? How many floors are there? Jesus. Why are they so accessible? Alright, so what, he said he bought me a remote VPN. I forgot. Exit. This isn't the exit. Where's the freaking lobby? Oh, yeah. Pardon me? Do I have any pack parcels? What, so I go outside?
Yeah, I'll have that, please. Excuse me. Thank you. What do you just... Right, can I get through this way? Holy crap, man, this is mad. Wait, so... Why is this a thing? Oh, God. Okay. Can I not just take an elevator up? Was it... What floor was we on? Floor six? Why does the elevator not work? Just so that you can make the chase scenes a bit more intense. I don't like how quiet it is. I'm connecting from a TP link. This can't be good. <laughs> Screw this, I'm going. I'm going. I'm off. See you later. Goodbye. We're jumping out. You can't get me, bitch. You'll never catch me alive. Do I have to buy a flashlight from the deep web? Come on, there must be a door here. I can't see a bloody thing. You know what? Whatever. Is there something I can do to prevent this? Help me. Help me. Bloody Echocrawl, believe me. Oh, bloody God. Initializing. Welcome to Skybreak. You have the following cracks installed at WEP. Okay. Now do I do it? Okay. How do I activate that? I don't understand. Oh, I hate this. I hate when I don't understand what to do and it's probably obvious. There's no there's no explanation for what to do with it. Unless we're meant to have some kind of... Right, what about chosen awake? Are you awoke? Well, one could say that I'm woke, fam. <laughs> How do people find these freaking sites thinking I've got a fetish, right? I want to take it out on... Uh, I want to quickly go to the deep web and tell everyone that I'm a bit of a pedo, a bit of a weirdo. You don't know when, when, what's triggering who, when. It's all trial and error with games like this. Yeah, I don't know what, I don't know what the hell this is all about here, but I, I'm guessing I'm going to die. So I thought I was meant to be getting, like, coins every- How do you earn coins in this game? I mean, I spent money on something that I'm not even using. So this is fun, isn't it? Oh, don't do that to me! Oh, wasn't this the, um... I forgot what they called this. But it's like, it's like a massive uh, crypto decryption thing that people were trying to do. Apparently when you go into the deep web, you never go full screen. So I'm not going to go full screen. Foot fetish collection site. Oh, baby. Come on. Show me them feet, baby. Come on. Oh, baby. Look at them feet. I don't have a feet addiction, guys. Okay, I don't have a feet, foot fetish. I Personally, I don't see the... Uh, Desire in feet. Ah, oh, I mean, look at those. They're like pig toes. But, um, you know, each their own. I'm not kink shaming. Everyone, everyone does what they want. Because, see, Adam's really, really specific on where he puts the links. It could be like on the end of a toe, um, on the end of a heel. I'm guessing it's going to be on one of these toes. My favorite feet. Let's have a look. What is your favorite feet, Raymond? Come on, don't be shy, buddy. Those are some big toes. What is this? What if someone has like a phobia of feet right now? I hope you don't, guys. I'm sorry if you do. As if someone would... There's people out there that would do it, though, aren't they? They'd willingly send pictures of their feet to people. There's nothing here. I've searched far and wide. There's nothing here. Uh, Peter. <laughs> It's like every time you try and go on that site, you're gonna get wrecked. Oh god. I've seen that I should. Jesus! He flashbanged me! No! What did I do? I don't get it. 
But there we go, guys. That was the first part of Welcome to the Game 2. If you guys do want to see this again, let me know. Let's hit 700 likes, 500 likes. Don't know why I said 700. Thank you, guys. Hopefully, I'll see you next time. See you later.